Hi, I'm Charles Marsala, and I'd like to ask for your vote and support to represent the great state of Louisiana in the United States Senate. To begin with, there are about a dozen issues I've identified in this campaign which I think are important, and I'm also qualified because I'm the only former mayor running. I've lived in South Louisiana for most of my life, but my family is from North Louisiana, and I travel there for most of the holidays. I also had a great stay in California along the coast, dealing with a lot of issues when I was mayor. I'm an offshore drilling engineer and environmentalist. We need to look at Louisiana the way Teddy Roosevelt did when he came here 100 years ago. He went both to North Louisiana and to South Louisiana on a bear hunting trip in North Louisiana and to create an estuary in South Louisiana in St. Bernard Parish. Right now, the coast of Louisiana has a dead zone that's more than 6,000 square miles. And I'm surprised that the two congressmen that I'm running against, Dr. Charles Bustani and Dr. John Fleming, haven't done more to solve this problem. In fact, Dr. Fleming sits on the subcommittee as chair of natural resources for water and oceans. And when we read the notes of that committee and what they're responsible for, it's fisheries, it's the coast, it's taking care of these situations. And yet we have so much chemicals coming down the Mississippi River, the dead zone has grown because those chemicals are fertilizer for algae and create harmful algae blooms. We actually have people now having flesh-eating bacteria problems from swimming in the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, in my journeys, I've interviewed a lot of people on the coast, starting in Biloxi at a recent huge fish kill that happened in December. The algae bloom, this is very unusual. I have never seen a red tide in December. It's a danger to the oysters, as well as all the fishing industry right now. There's dead fish all along the beach. Then we went down to Grand Isle, and we interviewed a shrimp broker and heard what he had to say. We're going through a dead zone in the Gulf right now that's probably bigger than most states. We're the cesspool of the United States. I mean, everybody throws everything in the Mississippi River, and it all comes down to us. I mean, this dead zone is being caused by chemical plants, you know? I mean, and it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, we're going to be getting a half a million pounds of shrimp a day and in the next day, nothing. They throw the nets and there's nothing there. I mean nothing, nothing, nothing. nothing. We also went to Coquitry and talked to our scientists and said, what is the real problem? What's causing this? What needs to be done? So we know the nitrate load in the Mississippi River has gone up since the 1950s. It's sort of stabilized now. We also know that the size of the low oxygen has gone up over that same time. The source of that nitrogen comes primarily from agricultural practices. Over 50% of the basin is in agriculture, and the increase in growing of just corn, especially for ethanol production, has required more fertilizer. Now that the price of fuel, oil, is so low, the farmers are not getting as much per bushel for their corn, and they may be or should be seeking alternative agricultural practices. Anything that needs oxygen has to escape or things that live in the sediments die. So the swimmable fish and the shrimp and blue crabs, they can move out of the area. But it basically reduces their suitable habitat so they don't have the right kind of food that they need, the right kind of temperature and salinity. The states on the river have nutrient reduction plans where they are supposed to list the steps that can be taken to reduce the nutrient load. The new goal that's 25 years off has a, an intermediate goal at 10 years to try to reach a 20% reduction. So some of those reduction plans are aimed at certain practices that can be done. It just takes social and political will to make it happen. We went down to Jean Lafitte and saw how the shrimpers there have to go out 30, 40 miles to get a catch because the dead zone is so big. These guys are having to go farther and farther and farther, which means it's more fuel, more, more maintenance on the boats, and they're getting less prices here. So these guys are slowly just getting out of the business. Some of these guys are going to work for $8 an hour and having a better life than when they are shrimping. What caught my eye was actually they're talking about a thing they call the dead zone, which mm -hmm. they say all the nutrients that are coming down the Mississippi the last 30, 40 years mm -hmm. have actually caused this algae blooms. Well, you know, we, yeah. we want to grow so much more ethanol. Right. So it's like right. it's a double whammy. They're trying to grow the ethanol to replace the oil. Absolutely. And to grow the ethanol, they're also putting the fertilizer in the river. Right. We have to pay for it somewhere, I guess, huh? <laughs> That's the way they look at it. Yeah, we're good for the air, but killing all the fish, right? <laughs> That's, That's right. That's the American way, I guess, right? They have a really good idea and, and there's money in it and everything's fine, but they don't spend a little extra for cleanup. And that's a typical thing around here. And we went down the Point of La Hache and we talked to oyster fishermen there about what's going on with the dead zone. Like Dog Hill, there's a dead zone. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, it's... So man. does that mean that you guys got to go further out to get your oysters because of that? Yeah, because the, the dead zone ain't nothing there. It's, not, it's nothing. It's, dead, it's a dead zone. Nothing growing, nothing moving there.
We need to go back to what Teddy Roosevelt wanted as Republicans, that we would take care of the environment, that we would create sanctuaries and do that job that Natural Resources Subcommittee of Congress should be doing. I want to address this. I'd like for your support so we could get it done. Because as you can see by this map, there's a huge amount of nutrients coming down the Mississippi River, spinning into Grand Isle and being pushed by that current west along Louisiana all the way to Galveston, causing this dead zone. And we have the best scientists down there from the Louisiana University Marine Consortium studying the issue. And they know that it's also worldwide. It's in more than 500 cities. In fact, Florida, California, Chesapeake Bay, the Great Lakes, all have dead zones going on right now. All have toxic bacteria in their waterways. I'm asking for your support to represent Louisiana and have a position of leadership in the Senate to get this done. We've already started holding conferences on Earth Day in Metairie, Louisiana, and that is a great place to start with. With your support, I can drive this home and we can save Louisiana coastlines and establish Louisiana as a place that cares about the environment and being a leader in solving world issues. Thank you, and I approve this message. Text Marsala to 504-509-5500 to make a donation, or go to marsalaforla.com for more information.